session. Welcome all. Uh, in this session, I'm going to demonstrate what are clean business to uh, DBA training. Okay. So what is e-business suit and uh, what is ERP? Uh, we call it as ERP solutions, enterprise resource uh, planning. Okay. And uh, EBS means, Oracle EBS means e-business suite. Okay. It holds a couple like multiple products of the Oracle, uh, that multiple products we call it as a suite. So enterprise business, whatever the uh, enterprise related businesses, that business logic, the business uh, needs, this software will fulfill. Okay. And ERP means uh, it, enterprise resource planning. It is a SaaS uh, solution, software as a solution one, to automate and manage our business day-to-day -day activities like purchasing, sales, finance, accounting, the company needs. Okay. These are all the services uh, which is provided by the ERP. This is also part of our uh, record as a EBS, enterprise business solution. As an apps DBA, as an apps DBA, we are going to learn about this product, like Oracle eBusiness Suite. Okay, what it tells, like what exactly the eBusiness Suite will do. This will support the entrepreneurs, those who are starting their businesses. The business could be in uh, real estate, that could be in a uh, online store, uh, or it could be anything, real estate or medical, anything. Other. Excuse me. Okay. For that business, this uh, those who are going to start their business and if they want to implement their business logics, some solution, some software needs to be uh, required for them to serve the their business logics, business needs. So we have Oracle eBusiness Suite is there. Uh, it will support finance related finance management and human resource management, supply chain, warehouses management, logistics, and CRM, customer relationship management, and so on. Like in Oracle, they are providing this uh, software for business needs, EBS solution. So for that, if you want to uh, support as an administrative task, require a DBA. So DBA will install this e-business suite and maintain this e-business suite. So, this EBS, we have n number of products, like around 250 plus products is there. Each product we need to purchase. Okay, that is a licensed one. According to that business needs, they need to purchase the uh, the products. Products means this SEM. If the, the business is required, the company is required, supply chain management related things, they need to purchase this SEM license. Okay, and then if they... By default, in a software, e-business software, we will get all the products. But if you want to use those products, we need to purchase the license. Okay. That is the one e-business used to support the business needs. It will help to run the business logic or business code. So who should learn? And the history of the Oracle e-business. Uh, e -business. EBS means Enterprise Business Theater, DBA. Any DBA background professionals, they can learn this CBS DBA. Any DBA, SQL, Oracle, MySQL, Postgres, DB2, any, any DBA can able to uh, learn this and also they grab the jobs easily. And freshers also, they can uh, learn directly e-business your DBA. Uh, then they don't need uh, any other uh, technical skills. They can directly learn Oracle e-business DBA, EBS DBA. Uh, that another name we call it as Oracle Apps DBA. Okay, both are same. And non-coding background. In this DBA, not only this EBS, normal Oracle DBA also, we don't have any coding. Okay, non-coding background students, non-coding background uh, professionals. Okay, they can learn this easily. So it is easier for everybody. And also we can learn easily. Uh, it won't take more than 40 days to learn this DBA. Okay, when this EBS has been started, Oracle eBusiness Suite, uh, when the Oracle has started in 1988, in 1988, August, they started this eBusiness Suite software. And initially, they given only one module, general ledger module. Later on, they can add it n number of modules, uh, as and when they have uh, requests will be coming from the businesses, right? 
according to those requests and also they will plan for their business expand uh, in multinational level right so they will develop according to that from since 1988 they have started to develop oracle business Toyota software and then number of versions they have version 2 3 4 up to 11 i so 2004 and 2006 in between they have developed 11 i version internet i means internet uh, stable version in live i is 11.5.10.2 and uh, next version major version i am talking about other uh, versions is there then 2010 uh, august they released 12.13 it is the stable version in 12.1 r means release okay and the latest one 12.2 it started early in 2013 now latest version is 12.2.12 12. 12.2.12 12 is the latest version e-business suit version like we have oracle database versions right in oracle database we have uh, 7 8 9 and then 9 i 8 i 9 i 10 g then 11 g 12 c and uh, 19 c latest one is 23 c similar way these are the oracle database versions oracle dba versions oracle software database software Similar way, in EBS also we have a software. It is a Oracle eBusiness Suite software. Latest version is R12.2.12. We will uh, go one by one each and every topic, uh, the advantages of 11i and the disadvantages and the features in 12.1.3. These two are uh, support is ended. Uh, support means if, it, if some customers still they are using 11i, some customers still they are using 12.1.3, but they will not get the support as and when they have any production issues. If production level, any patches is required, Oracle will not support them. Why? Because they have uh, support is ended. Now 12.2 is uh, supported by the Oracle. Uh, the software, those who are released, right? Oracle is released the software. They will uh, support us uh, as and when if any issues occurred in software level or if any new feature, new functionality is developed, they will support for 12.2. This 12.2, uh, the premier and extended licensing or support uh, close to 20, 20, 2030. Till 2030, they will support for 12.2 version. So long-term uh, support is there for this. So this is the history and uh, anybody can learn this DBA, apps DBA course. Apps means CBS DBA course. Uh, coding is zero level coding. And job opportunities, we will talk uh, in later. I'll show you live uh, jobs as well. Position, like, like live job uh, opportunities, which are posted in the social media. Okay, prerequisites for Oracle DBA or Oracle application DBA. We got talk about Oracle application DBA prerequisites. So prerequisites, anyone can learn directly without any knowledge. Okay, they can start directly as DBA, but good to have these knowledge like basic Oracle DBA knowledge, what is Oracle database, what are all the versions, how we need to connect, the basic things it is required. But as part of this course, we will uh, share those knowledge as well. And also basic Linux commands. Why? Because our eBusiness suite has been installed on our Linux servers. So we required certain command like 20 to 50, in between 20 to 30, uh, 50 commands will be there. Very easy commands. Uh, we will teach these things as well. And also basic SQL and PSQL knowledge, like select query, what is select query? And what is update? What is insert query? How we are going to uh, write those queries, read those queries? The basic knowledge is fine. If you don't have also, that is fine. We will teach you from the scratch, from the SQL level basics, and then we will teach you Linux commands, what is required for uh, apps DBA. Okay, and then if you want to uh, install this application, EBS software on your data, on your own laptops or PCs, minimum 12 GB memory is required. I'll recommend for 16 gig. Okay, 16 gig RAM is required. And then 400 GB hard disk storage is required to set up the lab in your personal PCs or laptops. These are all the basic things. And uh, coming to Oracle Apps DBA roles and responsibilities. What exactly, I mean, each, every, uh, each and every technical uh, skill set, they have their own roles and responsibilities. Likewise, we have in Apps DBA uh, certain uh, high level roles and responsibilities. Installation and administration of eBusiness Suite, whatever the software, EBS I'm talking about, 
EBS software. Uh, latest version is R12.2.12, right? So if you want to manage to do the administrations of this e-business suite, we have to download the software, download the software, and then we need to install the software. For this, we need, including this software, like in this software, we will get a database as well. Without the database, EBS will not work. There is no meaning at all. EBS is a, just an application. It holds the business logic. It won't hold the original data. Original data will be there in database. So we require the database. So that's where I mentioned core DBA or Oracle DBA is the uh, like prerequisite. If it is having uh, core DBA knowledge, they can grab it easily, this application. If you don't have also, we will teach you from the core DBA scratch. So it's a base. On top of this database, we will install this EBS software. Okay. For this database, we required on server. Like this is my computer. Is computer is a server. It a server is nothing but holds the software and memory, like hardware and memory structure, right? Similar way, uh, we required a server. On that server, we need to install any one of that operating system. It is a Linux in our case. We talk about Linux, Windows, Ubuntu, uh, Red Hat Linux. Anything, anything we need to install on the server to serve the uh, these things. If you want to install the database, we require a platform. That is Linux platform. If you want to install Windows, we can install as well. Okay, it's an operating system. That's where we need some basic Linux commands. Why? Because our application sits on our Linux server. So we require the database uh, knowledge basic. Why? Because uh, the EBS should connect with the database to store the data and retrieve the data. Okay, this EBS is holding only the business logic, the software, which is search the business logic. That's it. Original data will be sits on your database. Okay, for that, uh, as an application DBA, we need to know how to install this application DBA software and how to administration like shutdown, startup, and also if you want to do the cloning, other uh, activities, patching and all, all these administrations, we will teach you on that. That is from the scratch onwards, we will go. And then patching and cloning. Why we need to do the clo uh, patch and why we need to do the cloning. Patching is nothing but to fix a particular bug. For that, we will get a, a patch. Simply, if you got some issue in the application side, some object, I mean to say object means any, any package or view got uh, corrupted. Or if you want to upgrade the version from the existing version 12, package version. If you want to increase from 12 to 13, we need to apply some patch. Okay. That patch is holding the latest version. So how we are going to apply that patch? We will go uh, what mean from the starting point onwards and uh, to fix up the issues, to upgrade your functionalities, we have to go with the patching. And then what is cloning? Cloning is identical copy of your production database. Okay. Similar way, if you have a production, it is my production, EBS production. Okay. And if any issues happen in this uh, production, we, we should not apply directly fixes on this production, right? If you apply directly the fixes on this production, after applying that uh, fix, there could be some other new issue will be generated. So to avoid these things, we need to clone this production information to another location, another instance that we call it as a non-production. So this is a production. Production is a live data. Okay, on live data, we will not test anything. Simply, uh, we have got recently one uh, pathetic uh, situation, Corona, right? The medicine has been invented after one year or one and a half year. They, they did not directly inject it to the human beings directly that uh, vaccination, right? They have to go for number of testings. Similar way, in our environment, we have to go number of test instances the same issue, we have to re reproduce it here, here, and here. Like we call it as a dev, test environment, UAT environment. Similar way from lower environment to higher environment. Higher means live. If you want to apply a patch, you can apply that patch here, dev first, then here, and then here, this one. So if you want to do those testings, if you want to do uh, the information which is there on production, we need a similar data on this environment, right? For that, we need to do the cloning, okay? Cloning, we can do different, different approaches according to our databases and application structure. We will talk about that later. 
and managing the custom and application products. Whatever the so whenever we are installing this EBS software, we will get a default uh, products, GL, AP, and uh, other products. GL means general ledger and all. If you want to replicate similar kind of product, we need to create like I have GL is my default product, which is came from the software. If you want to use this GL product, general ledger product, we should not use directly. We have to create one custom one, GL cust. And then we can test all the functionalities, whichever the GL will be used. That functionality you can test on this custom. So after that, you can go with the, this the, a live one, product one. Product means seeded one. This is a seeded functionality. This is a custom. Custom means according to that customer needs, we will create uh, as a DBA, we will not create. It's uh, created by the technical and functional guys. They will give it, uh, they will create it, these things. We have to create the structure, the GL related structure on our application that we will go. What is the custom application products or custom products creation and all. And the concurrent request and programs. Concurrent request is nothing but the programs which are scheduled by the uh, DBS or technical or functional teams. Uh, those will schedule in our uh, EBS side, application side, concurrently, repeatedly, we have to schedule or submit those requests. Okay, we will go with that. And the programs. This is a separate topic also. We will uh, cover what is the concurrent request and what is the concurrent program. We will cover completely this topic. And also workflow mailer configuration and management. It is simple. Like uh, in e-business suite, if they are using this product, e-business suite product for uh, one of the organization, if it is an educational organization, educational organization, they are using this EBS product. As an apps DBA, we need to install this apps DBA software here, and then we need to support. Workflow Mailer will support uh, as and when one, when one student has been uh, submitted his leave request, like he has to submit normally. He's going to avail uh, to their uh, management, like principal, he's going to request leave request to the principal. The request should go to the principal and principal should approve the request. Okay, or else if you can take a real time uh, in an organization as an employee, if you want to go for a leave or if you want to see your salary statements, for that, uh, those information stored in your database, whatever the request you are requesting, like leave request you are uh, putting in your application side, that should go to your manager, right? Employee to manager. Manager should approve. Once he approved or reject, the status should be updated in your database. This flow complete applying the leave and uh, approving the request to send this request flow, we manage in, uh, using workflow mailer. This mailer will send those notifications. Okay, how we are going to configure this mailer and how we are going to manage this mailer services, we will talk about that. And the system administrator or sysadmin tasks. Simply in database also, we are going to maintain uh, to create the users. Okay, somebody wants to access your application. We need to provide their account, right? In application side, like you have a Gmail account. Without Gmail user ID and password, you should not use that functionality, right? Gmail account one. Similar way, we have e-business suite. If our uh, team members, anybody are business users, they want to access our application, we have to create users. So we can use those users, we have to assign the responsibilities, roles, and other profiles and all, everything we can maintain by the system administrator responsibility. This is a front-end activity. We will show you the console. I'll open the console and I'll show you uh, as part of this activity. And troubleshooting. Troubleshooting means somebody is unable to log into the business suite. How we are going to troubleshoot? Somebody will raise a request. I'm unable to receive the notification. I'm unable to approve the notification. So we, how we are going to troubleshoot and also somebody will request, I'm unable to submit the request or my request is running long. How we are going to troubleshoot all these uh, scenarios uh, we will discuss in this part. Password management, whatever the passwords as per the security rules, we have to change our password every 90 days. So whatever the admin passwords we are having in application, e-business suite or apps DBA site, we need to change those passwords every quarterly. Quarterly means 90 days once, three months once. How we are going to perform that. And migrations and upgrade. Migrations, if somebody wants to migrate their on-premises, on-prem means a local server to cloud. 
what approach we are going to uh, uh, what approach we are going to take that we will discuss the migration approaches and upgradation if still some of the customers they are using uh, r12.13 version still they are using if they want to upgrade the versions from r12.12 through 12.10 or 12.12 how we are going to up upgrade this one okay that up upgrade uh, options also we will discuss then uh, yeah, clear cut. This is, I mean, these are all the roles and responsibilities as an apps DBA. So we need to do the patching, cloning, and also admin, uh, sysadmin user management, uh, and also some other troubleshooting skill sets. All these are our roles and responsibilities. As part of this course, we are going to cover each and every responsibility which I mentioned here. I mentioned in the course index introduction to ERP and D business suite. What is ERP? ERP is enterprise resource planning, like the business needs uh, this ERP solution will. In ERP, we have a couple of vendors. Oracle is one vendor is there, and we have Salesforce, SAP, and other vendors is there. So they are also using ERP solutions, but in Oracle, they are using eBusiness Suite. Okay, this software they are using for business uh, logic support or business logic uh, handling their businesses using this ERP. So architecture, what is EBS R12 to architecture before 12.1 architecture, R12.1 architecture. So we will discuss that as well. Installation and administration part, how to install EBS e business suite. And then AD utilities, AD utilities, application DBA utilities, how you are going to manage, how to start the database, how to start the database and uh, other activities, auto configs and all. These utilities we are using to start, stop, and all admin activities. How we are going to apply the patches, the patching activity. Till R12.1 version, we are using AD patch utility. From 12.2 onwards, we are using this utility to apply the patches. Okay. The adopt means application DBA online patch. Here also we can say AD means application DB patch. This is also one utility. We are inside of this adopt, this at AD patch will work out. Okay. Then this is online patching. From 12 to onwards, we are going to apply the patch on online. Uh, before version R12.1, we have to shut down our applications and then we need to apply the patch by using AD patch. So that we will discuss. System administrations, sysadmin tasks and troubleshooting, concurrent processing server, the concurrent requests and programs, as I discussed as part of our roles, right? This processing server will help those requests and programs. And cloning, workflow management, password management, EBS and OCI means on-premise Oracle business suite. We, how we are going to uh, migrate to Oracle cloud infrastructure, Oracle cloud. We will discuss that part as well. Upgrade EBS enterprise business suite 12.1 version, release 12.1 to release 12.2. 12.2.x I can mention. In the X is the uh, subversion of this one. So it is the latest one is 12.2.12. .12. And EBS SSO login flow. If the users, whichever we are creating to connect our application, they can use without passwordless. Passwordless connections, we call it a single sign-on. Once they connected with their systems or laptops, if they open the eBusiness suite URL, they can directly redirect it to EBS URL. How that will work? Uh, we have to do the setup and all, but we will go with high level steps. How the EBS login issues, what are the repeated login issues we will get, how we are going to troubleshoot SSO logins and all. What are all the important parameters we need to set up for as part of EBS SSO setup? Single sign on. And EBS and OCI, the same thing. It is repeated thing like EBS and OCI, uh, that part. These are all the course index. So, we have an architecture as well. Uh, EBS is three tier architecture. This we will discuss as part of uh, the next session. Okay. EBS is the three tier architecture. This is the client type and application type and database type. As I said, uh, we need a database to uh, install our application or serve the business logic. Without this database, we will not use these applications. There is no use of this application. This part, especially we are going to support 
as an EBS DBA, apps DBA, we are going to handle this part. Okay, this is like directly our computer, our mobile, our web application, the client location from where the users are trying to connect applications. Okay, internally, if user is trying to access some application, his payslip is you want to see his payslip. User needs to connect to this application URL and this internally, this application will connect to the database to fetch the payslip, right? Payslip structure will be there here, but the data will store in your database. That will fetch from database to application type and application type to users. Okay, we will discuss this uh, as part of the architecture clear cutly. This is high level of e business suite architecture. So that's all about our demo session. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, I'm ready to take. Yeah, is this course related to the platform also? Yes, in 12.2 onwards, the architecture has been changed. By default, uh, WebLogic server uh, has came into the picture. So we we need mean we don't have much activities on this WebLogic server, but few of things will be there. Some of the application services, OA Core, OA FM, OA, all the managed services running on this WebLogic server. And uh, WebLogic uh, server by default came into this EBS uh, software. Uh, hello. I'm audible. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Actually, so can okay, you please let let us know like uh, what all activities like we will do like we will create the database application tier and client tier like all things will do in practical. Yes, definitely. Okay. That like we, we yeah. will create the database inside. Yeah. Apart that, uh, we need to create the application tier as well as like application of middleware as yeah. well as the uh, same client one, right? Yes. In, yes. In yeah. on premises and as well as in uh, OCI, correct? OCI also we can do it here. Uh, okay. We don't have a setup to do that OCI thing, but okay. I'll guide you how to uh, enable our e-business suite or install our e-business suite on OCI. Okay, okay. Like OCI, we cannot perform like a whole setup, right? What we do, we what we do in on premises, correct? No, we can do that. If you have a that OCI console access, uh, mm -hmm. there we can perform all these things. Uh, it depends on the the one. Uh, we are going to install the software, how we are going to, the licensing part, OCA console, okay. how much access you are having, mm -hmm. that way you can uh, perform. Okay, okay. But, but I think that overview and some of the practical part we will get to know in on OCA as well, right? Yes, yes, I'll show you that. Okay, okay, got it. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay. what is the difference between uh, app admin and Oracle admin, I mean a database admin? Is there any difference for both of them? Definitely, definitely there are uh, a number of differences. As I said, as an apps DBA, we have to support our application. This one, this part is our main role. Also, we can support the database activities. As a core DBA, they can support only these database operations. On these database operations, they can perform uh, some other third party applications they can install and they can support those applications. But as an application DBA, we are supporting only this e-business suite application with the database activities. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Yeah, this course we will conduct in uh, 40 to 45 hours. Uh, according to the request, we can uh, make it on weekend batch as well. As of now, I'm planning to start from 18th of uh, September, evening sessions. So if you need any uh, other details related to this course, uh, you can reach out to racksinfotech, racksinfotech at gmail.com. You can connect with me on this. I'll reply back. Yeah, can you add that to WebLogic uh, course also? I mean, in this, uh, because uh, WebLogic also is related to apps DBA, right? That, yeah, if you want, you can learn. That is a middleware part. If you want to talk about especially for WebLogic, you call, call it as a middleware administrator, fusion middleware. There are separate WebLogic administrations also there, especially for uh, to maintaining the WebLogic servers and install or deployments. But if you want to learn WebLogic also, we will sell me now. schedule a separate course for WebLogic. But as part of this apps DBA, we have limited access or limited functionalities to work on this WebLogic. 
how to start and stop the weblogic server but here we are not going to start and stop the weblogic server we are going to start and stop all the applications side automatically internally this weblogic server services will shut it down on startup we are not maintaining this separately but we have a console weblogic console url separately and application login is separately i'll show you that as part of this course Can you share a course according to AppDB and WebLogic? AppDB and WebLogic course is it? In application DBA WebLogic, we are just maintaining our application service. OA Core, OA FM, Farms, those services running on this WebLogic server. So once you log into this server. We have to maintain that OA core service is up and running or not. If you want to increase the number of OA core servers, we can log into this WebLogic console and then we can add it. Maintain the manager server uh, services status from the WebLogic server. We can do that activity from application server backend as well. Complete WebLogic administration is different. Okay, that is different. The same weblogic server will be there, but here we are not maintained uh, that is separately. It is a part of a B business suite software. So different approach here. What will be the course fee? Oh, we'll, we'll, like, I'll, I'll discuss this and this video is recorded. Let me hold this thing. What about? What about hard disk requirements? How much hard disk is required? 400, 400 I is, uh, I mean, as I, you are able to see, right? 400 yes, GB. Yes, I can see that. But yeah, uh, is... I, I, I also see that you are covering the cloning part of it. So don't you think so it should be more than that? Uh, then 800 GB is required, right? That's the same. One instance, if you want to install, yeah. if you, you can calculate it as a production. If you want to do another clone instance, uh, mm -hmm. You require another 400 GB, at least one terabyte hard disk is required. Uh, at that time, what we can do, right? Whatever the backups we are taking from here, once the backup is done, you have to copy to another server. Mm -hmm. you, we can manage the 16 GB, 8 GB or 9 GB, we can manage it. Once we install the software, while installing, it will take more memory. After that, we can adjust the memory. Okay. All right. Yeah, we can do that. Minimum, if you want to do the cloning and all, you require one terabyte. Or else, uh, the same instance also, you can do that. Same instance also, you can uh, remove entire thing and then you can restore the backups with a different name. If you don't have a storage, that also we can perform. And and this uh, this the application TA is a I mean the GUI or or the CLI only. Uh, both ways. Like uh, here, I'm showing it's a backend one. Okay. Okay. Uh, backend one, uh, if you want to see the database and application, both are running on the same node. We call it as a single node. If I want okay. to maintain my database is separately and mm -hmm. application is separately, that I mm -hmm. call it as a two node environment. Two node means two okay. servers. Okay, so can we do that or only on we single can, node? We can, we can do okay. uh, multiple instances. Database is one node. Application, mm -hmm. we can install uh, the services. Here we have... Uh, Concurrent web logic things is there, no? Each services, mm -hmm. form server, you can install one server. Concurrent processing, you can install one server. And admin server, you can, so application mm -hmm. itself, you can install on three nodes. Like, uh, as I shown you, this is one machine. Similar mm -hmm. way, you can install three machines for application services. And the database, you can install separate. So four node, you can configure. Okay, it okay. means four servers, you can do that. That is multi-node. Whatever I am showing here, it's a single node. Single node means... The same server, I'm installing mm -hmm. database and also application. Okay, okay, perfect. So I'll show but you the application the, front the end. Like, uh, yeah, in the real time, like we can see the different, I mean, database in the separate one and the application one is the separate one. Right? Exactly, exactly. As a core DBA, you never seen this login page. Okay. Yes. Correct, you We correct. can see only this putty and all. But as an application DBA, as I mentioned, system administration activities, right? From mm -hmm. here, we are going to maintain those activities. This is our front end, EBS front end. Okay, okay. As an apps DBA, we need to focus most of the activities from this console. If you want to log into this one as a system administrator responsibility, the highest privilege, like high level privilege. 
okay only dba okay. can have that other uh, technical functionals we can give individual users okay and then once you are uh, giving the user ID, this users and all we need to create as part of user management we need to mm -hmm. create these users okay once uh, if they are not able to log in okay then we need to troubleshoot it that is separate thing right this is the login page here we have all these responsibilities if you are an employee you have one kind of responsibilities if you are on a manager, you have extra responsibilities. Those we are going to add it here. Okay. So if you want to open the forms, we can open this one, click on any one of the, this, this is a form, Java form. So Java based application. So we need uh, in our laptop, we need to install the Java software as well to, to access this form. This we call it as a form. See here, okay. our application EBS DB related thing. These are all the applications uh, related activities. Okay. So and, uh, yeah. yeah, and do we have any project work also? Like I mean, some real time scenarios and uh, exactly all... we will discuss the same thing in a real time. Uh, mm -hmm. We will not get this login page sometimes post clone activities. We are not getting this login page. Whatever I am login right. This how we are going to troubleshoot, and also some users are submitted concurrent requests. We are going to read that as well. Concurrent programs will be there. Concurrent managers will be there. These are all the managers, all the managers. These managers are services of concurrent requests and programs. If manager is down, status actual and targets, one one means up and running. Zero one one zero means it is down. Actual and okay. both should be same. It means these managers are helping to run the request. Request is nothing but the if if something goes on in the business level, if if technical guy, you want to generate a report for one month report, like uh, what are all the sales happen in the complete month, he need to submit a program. That program will calculate as a concurrent program that will run based upon these managers. If how we are going to assign the managers to those requests, if no manager is assigned, the standard manager will going to pick that request. So those okay. we will discuss these things, all completely real time scenarios. Okay. Okay, got it. Yeah. And, and uh, it doesn't require any coding, right? Coding and all? Zero, mm -hmm. zero, zero coding. Zero. Okay, okay, got it. Uh, only, so I, as I said, right, basic core DBA knowledge, like PS and EF pipe grip test when I type it, right? What yes. does that mean? That is one of the Linux command to identify mm -hmm. the database thing. How we are going to check the uh, database up and running, application is up and running or not. We can see by using TNS, uh, PS and EF pipe grip TNS. Okay. So apps underscore EBSDB uh, is there, right? What happened to cursor? It is hold it. So here it is showing right apps underscore EBS. This is an application service running up and running. Okay. Business service. Okay. Okay. If you want yeah. to see all the services in the back end, we can see all these are all the database related things and application related things also. Okay. We will cover everything in a real time approach only. Complete okay. lab activities. We, there is no theory like uh we are handling 30 to 40% theoretical and uh, 70 to 60% practical. Okay. Okay. Yep. Thank you. So if anyone interested, please reach out to me. Uh, we have Instagram also, uh, Telegram also there. Or else I have my mail ID also there, right? Raxinfotech at gmail.com. If you want to contact, contact, uh, reach me on mobile. Uh, give it here. Less nine one nine three nine two six three triple four zero. Only WhatsApp I can able to uh, answer this kind of WhatsApp calls and all things. Nine three nine two six three triple four zero. Reach me on this. Okay. If anyone have any questions. Guys, it's a very easy question. I mean, easy training. And also you will get, uh, like, we have a huge opportunities uh, as an apps DBA. I, I forgot to show these things, right? Uh, LinkedIn. We have a huge market also as an apps DBS. We can see jobs. Okay. Here you can search Oracle apps DBA. So India, if you want to change the location, you can change and you can search also. We have huge uh, number of JD recently. They are lead position. They are looking for Chris 
and other apps such as thing UT, UTech, TechM, Gensar, Centroid, LT Mindry, Core and Apps DBS also they are looking. Okay, we have huge opportunities. And also package CTC wise, Oracle Labs DBS are getting more CTC than other DBS compared to any DBA, anything. So opportunities are there. CTC wise also will get the best in the industry. Growth also there, huge growth. Okay, guys, then if you don't have any questions, then we can wind up uh, this demo. Hope you are enjoyed uh, this demo session. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.